Opening face-off just moments away. The Lions have won the opening face-off and take possession here at the start. Kaprizov's got it along the wing. Denies him in front. What an incredible glove save by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. McCann's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Gains the zone through the middle. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Alexiak's body language says it all. He is frustrated. And anytime you're on a team, you want to contribute, especially when you know what you can do. You're a confident player, but all of a sudden, the stick gets a little bit tighter. Habits are a great thing. Numbers are another. Looks to get the puck over to Kaprizov. crowd is going what happened well if only it started that way all the time exactly the way the coach would have drawn it up but you certainly want to dictate pace when you are on the road and you want to take the crowd out of it early Minnesota's come to play tonight. They've been very aggressive to start, and as a result, Cheryl, they got the lead. Typically, the home team has the advantage, James, so when the away team comes into the barn, they want to make sure that they're not flat-footed, that they're urgent, they're aggressive, and to start this period, to start the game, they've been ready right from the hop, and they're rewarded with a goal. Here's a short pass to Boldy. He carries the puck up along the wing. Minnesota's got it behind the net. Takes a slap shot from the point, and that carries off a body in traffic. Chance in front, stopped by the goaltender. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done that here. Save made by the keeper. From behind the cage, sends it to Spurgeon. Sends it over. Passes it to Romero. Oh, and it skips past the blue line. Now a quick pass to Boldy. The Kraken have gained possession. Puck scooped up by Dumoulin. The Wilds have gained possession off the wall. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Moves it quickly over to Milano. Moves the puck. Fires it! Got the puck in the defensive end. From against the wall, it's centered out. Here we go. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the Ozone. Minnesota's looking to break out. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Battle ensues for that loose puck from on the boards. Seattle's crossed the line and on the attack. He grabs the puck here at the point. That's wide of the net. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Takes the pass. Fires it on net. And kept that one out of the net. And the puck's booted away. And he can't hang on after that hit. Moves it to Tanev. Dumps it into the Ozone. Quick pass to Bluger. Nice zone entry from the left. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low spot, and makes the save. Moves it to Rizichka. Oh, love the defensive Rizicka, stick right Rizicka. there to poke that one away. Dumps it in. Minnesota's got the puck. And he loses control of the puck. Here we go, pucks in deep. Slides the puck across to Suter. Seattle's got it in their own zone. And he slides it quickly to VC. Sends it over to Goodrow. Seattle's got it along the wall. 
The Wild have possession along the boards. Here's a short pass to Bjornfoot. And now he moves it quickly to Rossi. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. And that caroms off a of body in the lane. Strong defensive effort. Rossi's taking it from his own end. On the attack along the boards. Quick feed to Farrell. And that's blocked from someone in front. Grabbed along the board by Pedersen. Studnika's got it in the defensive end. Stoppage in play offside the call. Past the midway mark in this period. Minnesota's up one zip. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face off. Sends the feed in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Now he takes it over the line. Centering feed. And that goes off the body and a ride. Picked up along the board by Frederick. Moves it quickly over to Spurgeon. Takes the feed. Scores! Well, he's on the board. Uh, it's always a good feeling when you get your first under your belt, James, but it's always about setting the tone at the beginning of the season, setting yourself up for success. Well, he gets all of this one, James. It explodes off of his stick. He just labels it over the glove of the goaltender. The Wild have dictated the tempo in this one tonight, and they lead by two as a result. You said it, James. They dictated the pace as well, and you can see it on the bench, the energy, the way they're hopping the boards. It's like a wave of momentum. They've been all over their opponent. Takes the puck, and that's knocked away. Good hits up play with the big pass. Picked up along the wall by Sagan. Minnesota's taken full advantage of their scoring opportunities with a comfortable lead here in the first. Goodrow's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Possession now. Good hit to knock the puck loose. And that's deflected. That knocks him off the puck. Sends a pass over. Scores! And they do it again and again and again. Now the coaches will be preaching. Listen, have no mercy. Continue the pounding. Continue the beating because they are on a roll. We're always talking about the fancy goal. How about the hard work that creates it here, James? And you know that it's all about winning the 50-50 puck battle. Coaches always say you got to get your nose dirty. That's a prime time example. Minnesota still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. Harrison X won it. Moves it to Merrill. Puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Guitar. Gets in front of it. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. More than half the frame has been played here. Minnesota's now up by four. Sudnik has won the draw. Take it along the wall by Suter. And that shot dies in traffic. Minnesota's in on the offensive attack now. Kaprizov's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Well, the body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if it'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals.
Minnesota's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the look they're looking for. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Trying to dump it out. And that's one way to help kill off this penalty as they get the puck out, Cheryl. Well, when you're on the PK unit, you have to be able to anticipate. They do just that. They're able to retrieve the puck and fire it down the ice. Makes no mistake on the clear, James. Hard and heavy on the stick. Suitors ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Deport's going to hang on for a whistle. Hartman's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Minnesota's got it in the early attack. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Smith picking up steam. Whistle blows, stopping the play. The Wild have found themselves undermanned. Interference the call. A little more room out there with a little four on four. Well, four on four is similar to three on three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two on one all over. Moves the puck along the half wall. Shot! What a chance, but can't finish! Well, you got to make good on a chance like this. This is deflating, James. You don't even put it on the net and test the goaltender. That's a huge miss. Puck battle along the board. Wow, what an incredible shift. They're so urgent all over the offensive zone. Coaches love these types of shifts. Pitlick's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And they win the faceoff and set up to go on the attack. That's blocked by Lukanen. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. McCann's looking to win this draw on this man advantage here. Pitlick's won the faceoff. Great pressure on the offensive end by the Nears. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Both sides digging into that puck along the wall. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. And down it goes as the puck goes free. Still short-handed here as they slide in for the face-off. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Zizichka's penalty is almost expired. Gets the puck in deep. And the man advantage fails to pay off as both teams are back at even strength. Into the attacking area from the left side. Here's a short pass to Everett. Lukanen's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Minnesota's offense is shining bright tonight. Everything they put on net seems to find the back of it. And they lead it late in the first. Puck grab by Valimaki. And he slides it quickly to Boldy. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Marks it over to McCann. as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Minnesota's put a lot of pucks on net, and they continue to lead late in the first. Slides in off. 
off the wing after the centerman tied him up. There's the buzzer. 20 minutes in the books. Second period just around the corner. And fans, don't forget to enter tonight for our team signed poster, which will give way before the end of tonight's game. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. It was quite the one-sided tilt in the first 20 minutes. Let's see if that continues here in the second. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Minnesota's made it. Oh, 
Smasher. Sagan's got it along the boards. Takes a shot. Oh, and he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Bears works the puck in his own zone. Here they are on the attack. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Palomaki. Picked up along the boards by the Bears. Get some glove on it. Drifts it in, wins it, and there's another stop. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. Seattle's got the puck against the half wall. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Stones him in front. Now the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting And he slides it quickly to Hartman. There's a shot, and he gets all of that one as it was teed up with the slapper, but he turns it aside. Hartman's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Suter is gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. It looks like a trip. Well, the official was right there to make the tripping call, and it's a pretty easy one as the stick gets caught up in his opponent's skates. Well, things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four-on-four four action. Four-on-four, four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. Moves it quickly over to Eric Sinek. The Kraken have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Dumps it in. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Minnesota's got to be impressed with their entire collective team effort here. I mean, the coaching staff, this is exactly how you draw it up. This is the start you want. This is how you want them to run through the second period. Now they just got to finish it out and close it in the third. Love save, and the play continues. McCann's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Rossi's won the draw inside his own end. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Moves it to Pedro. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Hits it in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Rossi's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Seattle's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And a beautiful stop by the glove. Minnesota's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Milano's almost back on the ice. And the power play comes up empty. Both teams back even strength. Poked away by Hartman. Sent into the offensive zone. Quick pass to Tanev. 
Seattle's got the puck in the defensive end. With possession along the wall. Shot! Oh, he got a few spots to keep it out. Colton has spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Kessler's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. You can almost hear the size on the bench as that third penalty within the frame has been called here, James. A tough position as they can't get any rhythm going on their bench. Precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. McCann's won it off the faceoff. Nice puck check inside the attacking zone. Minnesota's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Skates to the crease. The Crockett has the puck while undermanned. And he takes the pass. Slides it diagonally to Addison. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Studnikas ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Seattle's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Scrum along the wall. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Inside the offensive zone. Here's a shot. And they just got it in the ground to keep it out. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. They clear the zone. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Bess is lugging the puck. Being on the power play is a privilege. Trust me, I know I was never on it. Always on the PK. So for those players who didn't execute, yes, they had a comfortable lead, and some would say it's not a big deal, but to each and every one of them, it should be. Takes the puck at the point. Oh, and just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. Picked up along the wall by Eric Zinek. Slides it back to the blue line. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Receives the pass and scores! Well, your coach is preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Minnesota's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. And off the draw, they take the puck. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Minnesota's got it against the boards. Throws it in. Seattle's got the puck along the wall. From behind the net. Seattle's looking to break out. Moves the puck up to Tatar. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Sends the pass in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Quick feed to McCann. And that one's turned away. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. 
Minnesota's had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight, and they continue to lead here late in period number two. Sagan's gained possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Kaprizov's got it behind the net. Centering pass. What a chance, but they can't connect. Dumps the puck in. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Into the offensive zone. The Kraken have taken possession in their own end. Drouin is going to play it against the half wall. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Kaprizov's got the puck in his own zone. Cord. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Minnesota's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. Seattle's going to start with the puck in their own end. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Here's a chance. Already stopped that one. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time? You want to take space? Goaltender does it. Makes the save. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Let's get the call. Well, it's pretty obvious that it's a two-minute minor, but he certainly didn't like it, James. He's going to contest it, but guess what? The official ain't listening. to go stick around and join us for the drama next hey fans be sure to get your season tickets now at this welcome back to ea sports the final frame of this one minnesota's won the draw as they start this period shorthanded takes the pop from behind the net looks to break out works it across to rossi and that pass attempt is deflected. Sends it down low. Minnesota's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. And he slides it quickly to Rossi. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. And that's knocked away by Everly. Seattle's got the puck against the board. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Delayed penalty coming up here. To the front. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Romanov's getting two for holding. Power play opportunity here for the man advantage in at a five on three. On a five on three with all that ice available and the defensive coverage in the middle of the ice, you have to find a way to pull them outside just a little bit. Sometimes the shot does that. When it does, they react to the shot and the rebound. Yes, taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net.
Seattle's recognized that they're not going to play run time here, so at least try to make it respectable. Respectable, and they can finish with physicality, and that's something that the staff will be telling them. Also look for everyone to be jumping into the attack, trying to get some pressure on their opponent and get some much-needed goals. Frederick's got it against the board. Feeds it down low. Tries to feed it over to Bjornfoot. Seattle's gained possession along the boards. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Seattle's ready to go on the attack. Takes a shot and gets a piece of it with the trapper. Quick shot. Only do it again. Denies him again. Oh, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Moves it quickly over to Tatar. Although this is an unlucky bounce for the goaltender, James, it's one he'll want back. These are the types of goals that can be deflating for a team. It's a scramble in front, goaltender can't find it, and guess what? It's in the back of the cage. The Kraken have got one back here in the third, but they need a lot more. Yeah, a lot more, James. They'll need to have quick shifts. You know this is all about resetting and finding ways to end the game with good habits. Prepare yourself for the next one. Rosicka's got it along the wing. The Kraken have taken possession along the wall. Through the neutral zone and along the boards. Here they come. Gets the puck in deep. Patterson's got it in the defensive end. Make a change, make a change. Great poke check on the reach. Yeah, Minnesota's got possession of the puck. And that's poked away by Rusichka. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Scooped up along the wall by Cece. Through center along the wing. Fires it into the offensive zone. Moves it to Addison. Pass across to Boldy. Passes it to Palamaki. Spurgeon set the puck on his stick for a great portion of this game so far, James. He's creating, he's at a multi point night, and it's not done yet. And now it's grabbed by Pedersen. And they'll dump it in. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides it across to Caprizov. Moves the puck along the half wall. Quick pass to Boldy. Long jam in front, that's broken up. And loads a shot! For point blank! Stopped by the goaltender. Taken by Goodrow. Here's a short pass to Smith. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Grabbed along the board by Cece. Takes the feed from the wing. Battle along the board. The Kraken have gained possession off the wall. And that's poked away by Spurgeon. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Get up, get up. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. And now it's grabbed by Kaprizov. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Fires it on net. Turned aside with the glove by Decord. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. Seattle's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Still has possession. Quick feed to McCann. Seattle's playing it from the side. And that goes off the stick and off to the side. And a nice save there as play continues. Picked up along the boards by Spurgeon. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Moves it quickly over to Besser. Answers the call there. Moves it to Romanov. Here's a chance. Makes the save. Takes the shot. And it's a quick pass to Milano. Puck picked up by VC. Sends it in on the attack. 
Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Gets the puck over to Bluger. Quick pass to Rosichka. Seattle's grabbed a hold of the puck. Feces got into offensive territory. Gets a piece of it with the trapper. Quick pass across to Hartman. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Up along the wing. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Sam, maybe an attempt to try to make it respectable. Or is this a comeback here, Cheryl? Well, it certainly made the deficit look better. And listen, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but that's the starting point. If you want to be able to claw your way back into this one, you've got to build off that last shift. The Kraken haven't looked very good at all tonight, but here we go with something in the third. You know the staff is going to be proud that they fought right to the end here, but they'll look to utilize their bench knowing that this game is out of reach. Puck scooped up by Merrill. Here's a short pass to Rizichka. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Alexiak. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Shot! Here's a shot! Stopped by the glove. Nice play there. Florida's up next on this homestand, and this should be a fun one. A few tickets still remain for this one. You know we'll be here. Hope to see you as well. Slides the puck over. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Quick feed to Coyle. Into the attacking end. Coyle's got it to the side. And he takes the dish. Stopped by Lukanen. Let's it fly. Just saved by Lukanen. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Seattle's run into a hot goaltender tonight. They've had no shortage of scoring opportunities, but yet they can't convert, and they trail here in the third. Puck grab by Merrill. Tosses it on to Pitlick. And loses possession after a solid hit. Swing and a miss. Oh, oh, the the goalie coaches work all the time with one screen or one player in front, James, and he's got to do a good job of finding this puck. I mean, it just beats him clean. The Kraken have been dominated all night long, and here we go. They finally catch a break now in the third. Yeah, they really haven't had an answer to their opponent. They've been on their heels the entire game. There's only one thing to do right now, and it is attack from all areas of the ice. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Sagan's won the face off right now. Let's see what they can do. Back to the blue line. Here's a shot. Oh, and he missed the net. What a chance there. Oh, James, when you're in the funnel and you've got that great scoring chance, you got to execute. You can't miss from that area. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Sagan's got it in the offensive Tatum, zone. Tatum. Oh my goodness, it's Tatum! What a save! It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Well, as play continues, can you feel the love tonight? Listen to this place here, Cheryl. I can feel it, you can feel it, and he can feel it after that last save, because you know what fans appreciate? They appreciate effort, James, and that's how that save was made. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official. Delayed penalty coming up. It's a terrific, it looks like. The game is getting out of hand. You're down by a bunch. You take another penalty. you got to find a way to just reset your composure. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent. 
pass far. And the puck clears the zone. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. And a solid save there as we play on. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Milano's gaining momentum. Here they come on the attack. The Kraken have gained control of the puck shorthanded. Trying to clear the zone. Oh, great work getting the puck out of the zone. James, when I played, this is my bread and butter. I never saw power play time, but I saw a ton of PK time. And you knew when that puck was on your stick, you had to clear it, not only to get fresh legs on the ice, but now you could contest the neutral zone and defend the blue line on entry. That is the critical piece to any PK unit. Drives to the page. Oh, he got passed by the corn. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they get the puck out and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. Here's a chance. And that's intercepted. Here they come through center end to the offensive end. The Wild have it now. Well, with a hefty lead, the team looks comfortable, and certainly that power play did. Yes, they didn't execute. They didn't seem to have the urgency that they had earlier in the game. Picked up along the wall by Sagan. 56 seconds. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Looking to set up offensively. Moves the puck down low. Angles it over to Alexiak. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. And that's blocked away. Taken by Boldy. Shot! Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. And it stays out of the net. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Minnesota's had a lot of success tonight on their scoring chances. And look at the result here late in this third period. Nice job tying up his opponent. Schultz is hauled down. The official's arm is up. Here comes the call. Uh, James, we were hoping to beat the crowd home, but the refs call this penalty, and this game's pretty much over. I mean, it's inconsequential, isn't it?